So guys, welcome to another video. Um, if you are new to this channel, please click on the subscribe button just below and then also click on the like button and then the share button to share this video. I mean, it does if you enjoyed this video. So please, please click on the subscribe button just below your screen here. Yeah, the red big, it's very big, the subscribe button. Just check down, you'll see it. So um, I told you before I continue my cyber security um, journey or, yeah, journey, I explored robotics and other parts of IT. So during my time in robotics, I felt I saw I started using um, Arduino. I used Raspberry Pi and some um, some of all those robotics, um, shall I say, tools or devices or components, whatever you might want to call it. So um, after and I studied a while with all these things. I studied a while and then I thought of projects which I could work on because I, I mean, for me to what we ginger you or help you to do uh, or move forward in a particular field is if you have projects you are working on. If you have something you have to always look up to, to say, okay, yes, I must finish this. Yes, I must do this. So I thought of about two projects which I could work on. I'll tell you about those projects. We'll be right back. The first one is an important project that could help the agricultural sector. So I thought of how about making a, um, a robot chicken? I don't know, I couldn't get a name, but I know there was a prototype. So basically, the things needed for this, you just need um, a chip, maybe an Arduino or um, a Raspberry Pi, depending on which one you work with. So, but what this project does is that it's going to, or what this prototype does is that it's going to help and revolutionize, is it revolutionize? Huh. It's going to help the agricultural sector in a very big way. Okay, so I know some um, farmers or some farm owners will, let's try those that have poultry, for example, because we are talking about chickens or hen here. Okay, so those that have these farms might not know how to take care of, um, might not know how to monitor, I mean, as a farm manager, you might not be there to monitor your staff, might not be there to monitor your chicken to know which one is faring well, which one is not faring well and all, but how about having a robot chicken that looks almost like a chicken, but it's just a robot, it has the inner part of it is a robotic component, but the outer part might just be coated with um, fur or something that just makes it look like chick like chicken, so that they don't get scared of it or get um, terrified of this particular robot, so they won't, even Someone who doesn't, someone who is a worker won't know this robot. This is a robot and missed the chickens and all, and it does not really pose a health challenge to them. So how does it work? How exactly is it supposed to work? First of all, it's going to what the work of the chicken is going to serve as a monitor. It's going to have um, a camera. Okay, it's going to have a camera to see the chicken. So you can control it remotely. We just need to be in your place and then monitor the feed, an online feed. Okay. So you need to the camera will be watching it as the chicken goes around in the in the in the um in the farm. Yeah. So it or in the poultry, it sees other chickens and then you can see okay this is faring well or you can even see one that is just staying on the floor and you know that oh there's a problem with this one. This one might be probably it might be sick because it's just staying one place. So from your home you get to monitor and manage these chickens. You don't need to be there or you don't need to um, place 100% trust on your workers because you can know what is happening at that point to your chickens. And aside that, it gets to monitor the workers, it gets to monitor everything going on. So it also has um, an audio recorder, okay? It has an audio recorder. So what does this audio recorder do? The recorder is going to be inside it, maybe even, even a microphone. So the microphone is going to be able to, um, you can um, give it, it can, you can make it give out, um, this bird sounds like um, you know how chicken crows or something like that so it's going to be able to do that so that it feels a bit natural so it's going to have a, um, a microphone it's going to have um what else it's going to have sensors yes yeah, it's going to have sensors as the eyes the work of the sensors we know is that the sensor gets to um detect movement so that it does not hit other chickens once it just gets to get near a chicken it moves to the other direction and so so all those will be programmed you program the tires and all it's going to have tires okay it's going to have tires you can i don't know how to do it to have legs i've not read that excellent but what i planned on doing was for it to have tires that it's aid, that will aid this movement so it's having tires and also it have tires is another important thing it's have um a, a thermometer yes a thermometer a digital thermometer that you can easily see so you see this thermometer it reads the temperature of the surrounding area so you know if the place is too hot for the chickens or too cold for the chicken so it will tell so if a, a worker can even go to the chicken and the robot chicken and pick it up and see the temperature oh this is this place is too hot it's too cold then it knows what to do even the person the feed is going to the person is going to see the feed and know the temperature remotely like the manager being watching um, watching be able to tell the temperature because once the digital thermometer is inside the 
um, the robot, you, the person is going to, the manager is going to be able to tell when he's seeing it on the feed. So aside that, there are so many other components which um, I might not remember now, but there, there are lots of them inside that robot okay so it records all this and records everything that is happening in the farm so if your workers are talking if you want to snitch on them i mean or if you want not snitch if you want to listen to their conversation if you want to listen to the whole environment and hear what is happening there you can also enable it remotely with your phone and also uh, an app will be built for that for the for the whole robot for the whole robot but you can hear that also so you just need to enable the recorder sound recorder in the robot chicken and then it's enabled so it has lots and lots of other things so when we get to when we get to comments you just need to give me your comment on this what do you think about this is this something you can work on is this something that's already being worked on because I know it's something that will help Nigerian farmers too. Because if you have one or two or three in your farms, without you might not really need workers if it's done extensively. You might not really need workers. You just need those robots to monitor and make sure everything is alright. So it's kind of cut costs. But in anyway, I think majorly when there is when there are things like robots, you still need humans to uh, monitor them. You still need humans to make sure they're functional. Because I mean, you cannot leave your farm with just robots and then you expect them to do something sometimes human intervention needs to be there in case maybe the battery is dead or something so that reminds me yes it also needs a strong battery the robot needs a battery a battery is one of the things in it so just in the description below i'm going to list everything that the robot needs to have and each of their uses so if you want to work on it if you want to take it up as a project it's something you can take it up as a project and work on and then revolutionize them um, our agricultural sector sector here in nigeria hopefully things become better and um so I, I, I guess that's it for um, the robotic chicken. But you see all the details just in the description box. And I need your comments. I really need your comments. Your comments are really important. What do you think about it? Those into robotics, those into um, software programming, those into IT. Just what do you think about this? I really need to hear your opinion, okay?